Yoimiya, is that you? Master Masakatsu! Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. Come on! We've got no time to lose! They could be back any minute! Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, well... <clears throat> you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. <laughs> Leave this place. Creepy place. Yes. Finally, I've made it out of there. Master Masakatsu, how do you feel? Can you hold on? Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over. Don't worry about us. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. to rescue him. Right, Kujasara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Uh, though Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the Decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True. Though if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. <laughs> It. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm, you do present a good point. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? 
I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? We gather raging demon level Joyun chilies, super salty ham, mist flower corollas. This is already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. Oh, my stomach. It feels like Yoemiya's fireworks are going off inside me. Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma, you okay, buddy? Salt-crusted herring, unripe lavender melon, flash-boiled dongo, oh, and whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. Oh, hold up, my life is starting to flash before my eyes. Time I call it a night, everyone. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot? Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. Uh, I need to lie down. Oh, I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's Hot Pot Challenge is... me. Oh, brother. Ah, oh, good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days' rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> There's gonna be a sequel? Sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. Bye, Toma! Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting the Komori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? Hmm. Where do we go from here? What's the plan? Traveler, Paimon! Hold on! Huh? Ayaka? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. 
Individual requests? You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So... I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together, but he is terribly busy at present, and, on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment... Just treat us to some delicious food, and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful! In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind! We don't mind at all! Do we? Thank you kindly. Shall we head off, then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. must be it's a festival promotion hey speaking of we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in inazuma N no what made you think that <clears throat> festivals are a common occurrence here in inazuma we in the yashiro commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs each season brings its own festival and each festival in turn ...brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions... ...for us, they are also a cause for concern. Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? Well, let's take a look inside, then. Welcome. I have all the latest styles. Please take a look. Oh, it's Miss Kamisato with guests from overseas. Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or for tailored garments? Oh, Greetings to you, too. I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh, Ayaka came prepared. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. This could be... Mm-hmm. 
It could be... Oh, it's a very fine design. Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Ogre textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk flower. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... As you well know, Inazuma is currently under a strict lockdown. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can still be of service. So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first? If even Ogura textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high-grade fabric, where would we buy it from? You could try the International Trade Association. They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times like these, though, we're lucky to even have an option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. Huh. So even just get... Wait! The International Trade Association? That's Karisu's thing, right? We haven't been to Rito in a while. Hmm. It looks like that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back once we've acquired the fabric. Oh, in the meantime, I have one other very small request. Could you? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kamisato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. <sighs> That's very kind of you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Traveler Paimon, let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. <laughs>